Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back with another OPTC video, and in today's video, we're diving into some more Grand Voyage level five against Buggy the Clown with a mono quick free spirit team showcasing the new Zoro and Sanji. Now, I already released a forest video, a Garb challenge in Grand Voyage at Shell's Town against Morgan with this particular character, and honestly, this character is, is so friggin' strong. Like, they're super swap, they're super ex, they're uh, super tandem. It's all just incredibly busted. And another place they shine very, very heavily in is Grand Voyage against Buggy. Now, another character we got recently is the free-to-play PKA Luffy. So this is kind of like a dual showcase for both of them, as you do need to bring a Mono Quick, Mono Free Spirit, and a Luffy on the team to get this done. So that's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, the Luffy's very, very good for this particular fight because he has a Sailor ability that removes one turn of attack down as well as removing uh, Special Bind, which means we can actually replace the Sugo Fest exclusive Boa Hancock on this particular team that would stereotypically remove uh, Special Bind and the attack down because this Luffy, he's going to actually reduce that. Now, every single turn, you can get access to this incredibly powerful Super Tandem ability, which Zoro and Sanji provide. On top of that, you can also get a 1.3 times attack and orb boost, which is very, very handy. Now, at the start of the quest, if you bring a quick Free Spirit team, you are going to get a bunch of super swap cooldowns, as well as uh, cooldowns for your entire team, and you can easily just tear your way through these stages. You can actually stall one turn before getting to the final stage if you guys need to and a good place to do that is on the next stage against the lion guy because on stage three against Carbagee, he actually binds your uh healing and that can be a little bit problematic as you do want to be at a nice chunkier hp threshold before going into the final stage but you will lose a lot of your hp so it doesn't really matter all that much as long as you can just remove some of it um so mainly like 10 turns of it like that's gonna put you in a really really good spot on the stage with the lion guy, I can't remember his name, um, but basically he is going to slot bind your captain and your bottom left unit. So Luffy, again, being very good here, he can get around slot bind with his limit break ability. And then with Brook, he also gets around that too. Brook was kind of made for this and then Law made it just like insanely easy. So we are running the combination captains of these two units. And then putting Zoro Sanji underneath Law means that you can give a tandem orb to both Law and Luffy every single turn, which are both part of his super tandem on top of that we're using the rare recruit robin who's also part of the super tandem so you can do some really really nice stuff there and as you can see you can also use law super tandem if you do find a friend captain law which is very very handy for extra damage output as well so you have access to two different super tandems with uh two very good characters and with zora sanji giving you that tandem orb every single turn it's very very useful on the final stage against buggy he's going to do that 95 percent hp cut the lackeys in the back they're at 1 HP and you can't kill them. You're going to get 5 turns of Special Bind, 5 turns of Bind, and then like a whole bunch of Despair as well. Uh, I actually believe it's 6 turns of Bind now that I'm looking at it. But with the Koala support on Sabo and Ace, as well as the Valentine's Nami support on Brook, you can actually get around all of this very nicely thanks to the Sabo Ace special. Make sure you use Brook first because you can't rotate orbs here. If you rotate orbs, Buggy's going to rotate into either Psy, Dex, or Tandem, I believe which is made for the uh, time skip Luffy level limit break, but using the super swap of Sabo and Ace means that you can just swap them straight back into matching orbs that way. Use the super, uh, super class of uh, Law, so that way you can get a tandem orb. And as you guys can see, if you do have your super tandem maxed on uh, Zoro Sanji, you can do some really, really crazy things. But don't stress, like if you're using Law's super tandem, that's also going to work. Uh, Luffy's part of both, so you're going to be able to do really, really good damage. And as you saw there... We're actually just tearing through Buggy's HP. Be very careful, though, because you don't want to hit the lackeys in the back. If you do, they do, like, some really, really nasty stuff, and Buggy sort of, like, blows away your unit. So just be careful there. On the second turn, you get five turns of attack down, and this is where the support of Tashigi on Zoro Sanji comes into play. That Sailor ability of Luffy comes in, and the support of Frankie on Robin to remove the four turns. Luffy can then remove the rest of the special blind. He can also... Uh, rotate your orbs into recovery, which will get rotated back. And if you get a really, really, really bad orb roll here, you can actually close the app and reopen it. But with Zoro and Sanji, you're going to guarantee yourself a bunch of tandem orbs anyway. And then to remove the bind, you have Robin once again. Robin can also give you damage reduction, and then you can use the Brook Super type, so that way you can extend the damage reduction. 
and then you can just sort of just tank this this particular turn again you are going to do so much damage here so be very very careful with your taps as you can see there i purposely did a miss so that way i can judge how much more damage i needed so i could take out boggy it might take you a couple runs to get that down pat but like i said even a level one zora sanji you should be in for a really good time as you guys saw there i swapped into zora which means i now have the super swap you get paralyzed on the third turn and 15 turns a special one on your captains we don't really care about our captains though we don't need their specials law removes the paralysis and then with the super swap of zoro and sanji we can give ourselves a 2.25 times attack boost now zoro sanji also get their super ex which you can activate for a 0.7 buff to free spirits and slashes but as you guys are noticing here we haven't used zoro sanji special the unit is so good for this particular piece of content that you don't even need to use their special which is actually crazy their special is insanely strong increases the attack and all boost by 0.5 gives you mad chain shenanigans but it does damage to everyone remember if you kill those lackeys in the back you are going to be in for a really bad time so as you can see there with the um super tandem and with the attack boost that the super swap gives you can just easily take down the buggy and after that third turn you can basically finish the run because once you do that third turn buggy will then blow away everyone with the buggy bomb he's left with like one hp brook will uh revive or survive i guess is the best way to put it and then you can just use this special just to sort of finish off the content you don't have to use the special though like i just did it for the meme and as you can see you can take down buggy very very nicely but that's going to wrap up the video i hope you guys enjoy this one the new pk luffy very very good for grand voyage and obviously zoro sanji great for not only shells town but is also very good over here at orange town against buggy but if you enjoyed the video belt like button hit the subscribe button do all that good stuff most importantly wherever you guys are in this beautiful world please remember to enjoy the rest of your day as always homies thank you all for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one Bye.